Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandy Morgan and I am a ex full-time programmer, mostly in front-end and React and React Native, turned full-time freelancer. I'm excited to have you guys here. And today's video is actually partnered with Microsoft, so make sure you check out the link in my description when this video is done to check out the Microsoft Developer Collective. It is filled with resources to help you sort of get started on whatever particular track you're trying to get into in development. They do release new courses every single month, so I highly recommend checking it out. But today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the 10 things you need to know about React to get started. But first, let's set the mood. All right, that's better. Let's jump into it. Thing one, there are two types of components in React. There are class components and functional components. Class components are going to hold state and use life cycle methods. Our functional components are going to be stateless components. Thing two, the container presentation pattern. This is where you have container components which are going to worry about how things act or how things work for your component. These are actually going to provide data to your presentation component. And your presentation components are only gonna worry about how things look. Presentation components, they have just a render method with no other logic and they are stateless components. Thing three, JSX. This is a syntax that you would be using to build your React component. Think of it like HTML for building your React component. And it is an XML-like syntax for your component building. Thing four, stateful components. Like we mentioned before, you wanna make sure that you have a very good understanding of what stateful components are and what lives inside of them. These are components that have internal state. Thing five, life cycle method. These are the methods used for the life cycle of your particular component. So first, you could use component will mount. This is referring to when the component will be rendered to the screen. Once it is rendered, you can say the component did mount. This is saying the component has been rendered. Next, component will unmount. This means the component will be destroyed or trash collected. Thing six, local state. When we think about local state in React, we want to think about state that lives inside the components. Local state in components would be managing the UI of a particular component. So think of button color, button text, any sort of presentational attribute would be handled by local state. Thing seven, state flow in React. In React, state flows from parent component to child component. It is a downward motion. When state is needed in a child component, it is passed to it by its parent via prop. Which brings us to thing eight, props in React. Props are what is passed from the parent to the child. And this is how you access the state from your parent component. One thing to note about props is that it can't be modified. If there is a change that you need made, it needs to happen in the parent component. Thing nine, stateful components. Kinda sounds like we're repeating ourselves. This must be important. Stateful components are components that have their own state and they use life cycle methods. These life cycle methods are what are used for the component to be rendered to the DOM. Now thing 10, how to get started with React. I would recommend going over to the Microsoft Developer Collective and taking a look at all the different courses that they have. They offer over 30 different courses and they release new content every single month. So make sure you pop on down to my description and check out that link for the Microsoft Collective and all the amazing free content that they have. So once again, you guys, if you like this video, boom, give it a big thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel below. Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm.